this is the sort of thing that you're looking for. It's that whole question of what is going on in the workplace? Are people turning a blind eye to things that they really should speak out against? Are there any practices? And I am sure that if I went to the head office of Johannesburg Police, I would find a paper trail that said that this particular policeman had been trained in the safe use of firearms, had probably got an up-to-date certificate saying he was capable of safely using firearms and had probably signed a document saying that he would adhere to the safe usage of firearms policy. The paper trail and what happens in the workplace are two completely different things. And that goes not just for health and safety, it goes for things like supplier due diligence. You will see letters at head office that say, no, we don't use child labor. Then you go to site and you see eight-year-olds picking oranges in the plantations and you go, oops, Fanta, we have a problem. So really important. And it's not that these things are red flags. If you have the skill and the knowledge to run the sort of change process, and if you have the support of the board in sticking to your guns, oops, that's a bad analogy to use with this slide, but if the board will support you and if you have the skills that will contribute to solving those problems, the fact that you've found those problems shouldn't stop you joining. But if you find those problems and you don't have the skills or you don't think the board will support you in bringing those skills to bear, then it's probably not a good board for you.